Hello YouTube, photographer Ronnie Sweet and I in this tutorial I'm going to show you a very nice and fast and convenient way to do your eye and teeth whitening in just Photoshop with just one adjustment layer. So there are so many tutorials that make you really want to create so many layers when it comes to eye and teeth whitening. Yet this is supposed to be a very simple step regarding your skin retouching and this is going to help you save so much time when it comes to eye and teeth whitening. So just going to show you a quick before and after and I'm just going to delete this. So what we are going to do after you have done the retouching process, remember eye and teeth whitening is one of the last steps that you are going to do after doing your skin retouching. So what you have to do basically, just come right here to the adjustments and simply come right here and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And after creating it, what you are going to do basically, you're just going to come to the master and come to the saturation option and simply left click right here and simply take it all the way down so just going to leave it at around 93 and that looks okay so you can see it has desaturated the overall image now what we want to do is basically going to close this and make sure the white layer mask has been selected right here make sure it is selected and simply press ctrl or command i on the keyboard so you press ctrl i for windows and for mac command i on the keyboard and that is going to hide the effect remember in photoshop white is going to reveal and black is going to hide so meaning the effect has been hidden behind a black mask meaning you have to get a brush that is white that is going to be revealing the effect in the eye area so you're just going to come under the brushes and simply right click and you get our brush tool and for your settings make sure the hardness is at zero meaning the hardness or the brush is going to be a soft round brush or pass in the flat 100 percent and after doing that come down here where you see these small boxes and make sure you have black and white so just click right on these tiny ones to reset or get black and white right here and you can switch between black and white by using x on the keyboard so just press x on the keyboard and that is going to switch between black and white so make sure white is, is on top right here and now you have to zoom in and with just that brush, we're just going to be revealing what is hidden behind this black mask. So I'm just going to increase on the size or decrease on the size of the brush by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard. So I'm just going to start painting just like that. And that is going to be whitening the eyes. You can see it looks or oh, it is a more natural and efficient way to whiten eyes. And you can see with just a single painting, we're just now brushing through the white area and if i told you make a mistake when it comes to eye whitening you can switch your brush to black and with the black brush it is going to eliminate the effect from where you did not want it to happen so i'm just going to switch back to white make sure white is on top by using x on the keyboard and i'm going to come and paint through just like that and you can see this does a very nice and decent job as regards to uh, eye and teeth whitening so i'm just going to switch back to black to eliminate the effect from where i did not want to paint switch back to white by using x on the keyboard and i'm going to whiten this nice and bit and beautiful catch light in the eye so i'm just going to use command minus or control minus to zoom out so if i told your intensity is a little bit high or too much you can come to the opacity and take down the opacity and leave the eyes looking as natural enough as possible so basically this is it for this tutorial and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating